Hello and welcome to the continuation of the making of the Chapel of Zenith. In today's video I'm going to be making the doors. So I'm just going to select this here. I'm going to come into face select and I'm going to go ahead and select the faces of this archway just like this. they're about level. So I'm going to shift and then press D to duplicate, bring those out, press P selection just to make that its own sort of object. Now I'm going to set the origin to surface and then I'm going to move that all the way over to where our reference image is. So what we do need to do is we need to straighten up these vertices as they are. They're not very straight at the moment as you can see and that's going to cause problems for when we come to do some bits later. So I'm just going to go ahead and line these up. So I'll just line them up. I'm going to have to do them one by one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back to the video. Okay, now they are all lined up by the looks of it. Yep. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it back over to where our archway is. I'm just going to put it in position and then make sure that they are lined up. Because this is important when it comes to actually doing the door. As you can see it's not quite lined up properly. So I'm just going to do a little bit of editing just to bring these right just down Just so they kind of fit almost. Just going to bring that back into here. Just make sure that. It covers the inside of that kind of inner edge. I'll just go ahead and come into vertex mode and I'm going to bring these right the way out. So I'm just going to bring these into line, line them up. This is just so that our door will fit properly. Just sort of edit these as I go. I don't want a little bit of a gap at the top. Just brings it all in line and then make life a lot easier later on. So there we go. As you can see, there's a little bit of wiggle room to make that a little bit bigger. But for now, what we want to do is those two there. We will bring those down eventually. 
But what I want to do is I'm going to bring this back out. Select those sides, bring it to the front, extrude it, bring that down just to about there. And then I'm going to cap it off just like so. This is resize, I'm going to put the z-axis to zero, just so I can make sure that that is a straight line. And as you can see, that is now to there. Then I can go ahead and I'm just going to merge these vertices at the end here. So merge those to center. Make sure that I'm only getting the ones that I want. Let's merge those at the center there. And those as well. So now they're all, all done. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to move that back over to my reference image. And then I'm going to extrude those right the way down to about there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the vertices and then continue. So with that now done, I can go ahead and start making the hinges. So I'm just going to align that plane to the view. Bring it over, bring it here. And it's just going to be very, very basic. I'm going to bring that to here, to the front, and then shrink it down to where I want it, to about there probably. I'm just going to put one here. So one can go there. The other one can go at the bottom. It does need to be a bit thinner, I think. About there. So very, very quick and very simple. So I just come bring out a little bit just so I can actually see it. So bring in here. Selecting the edge, I'm going to bring that down a little bit and extrude that out about there. A little smaller extrude on it, and then one more to there. And then bring that in. That probably needs to be brought in as well. Just so it kind of tapers down almost. Now I'm going to add a little bit of decoration. So a little bit of decoration onto this, so bring these around like so. Let's extrude that. Extrude that, shrink that down, shrink that one down, bring them in and angle it. Bring that in. Just so I'm selecting it all and getting it all into position where I want it. So I kind of want to make this almost like a sort of like crescent moon shape almost. I think that would work very well for this temple. So that's the one of the hinges done.
Now that's done. What I want to do is I'm going to do a cube. So this cube here, bring it across, bring it out, just so I can see it. Come into the edit mode, make sure it's on vertice, and I'm going to go to the bevel, and I'm going to put a little bit of a bevel on it. So about there. Cut it in half. Wireframe mode. Select the back part there and delete the vertices. And this is going to become the bolt. So just squeeze it in a little bit. It doesn't need to be that thick. So I'm going to pop that into position. Shrink it down. Shrink it down a little bit more. I think, I think that'd be about right. So I'm going to pop one there. I do think that needs to be extended a little bit more, maybe. So I'll just do one more extend. And I'm probably going to end up collapsing that. So it comes to a point. So I'll make that a little bit of a drawn out point. Make sure it just falls in line with the rest of them there. So that's fine. Okay, that looks better. Okay, I'm going to bring this bolt back. Rotate that round. Bring it back to about there. Just gonna go ahead and duplicate these. So one here, one about there. Put one there. one at the top and bring one at the bottom. Let me bring that forward a little bit. Just so it gives it that sort of edge there. And that's kind of what I want for this. So I'm just going to play around with that a little bit. So just make it more of a sort of moon shape, so it kind of sweeps around like so. Come to the modifier, I'm going to put the solidify finally on it. Uh, take away the offset. I think one should be fine. Apply that. And that's nice and thick. So that's the perfect size I want it to be. Now I'm going to select the whole thing and bring it right the way back onto the door itself. And then I'm going to duplicate that, bring it down probably to about there. It looks about right. Now what I want to do with these, I'm going to bring these up. And this is just going to add a little bit of decoration to the door.
space them out just a little bit. I'm going to go into wireframe mode for this just because it makes it easier. Now I kind of want these bolts to go in the center here. So each one will go in the center towards the top. Uh, this one's going to have two. Next one's going to have two as well. So I'm just going to go continue doing that right the way around and then move on to the next thing. So I've tidied it up a bit as well as I went round. As you can see, I made these a little bit better, a little bit bigger as well. So they look about right. So I do, and I've joined them all together as well just to make it a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select these two. That's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make the handle. So it's going to be very easy, very quick. So just do a plane to the view. Bring that over. So it's going to go about here. Shrink that down to where I want it, so about there roughly. Add the solidify to it. Get rid of the offset. Apply that straight away. And then bring it back onto the door. about there. I will add those bolts to this but that'll be outside the video. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a sphere. I'm going to bring the sphere here. Rotate it to the front, bring it over and in wireframe mode, I'm just going to line it up just to the center of that of the square that we've got. Just here. Shrink it down to about there, roughly. Coming to the top here, and I'm going to get rid of all those, all those faces. Uh, shrink it in a little bit. It's about there. So what this is going to become is going to be the beginning of the actual handle itself. So I'm going to bring that back. Bring it back a little bit more. So I could just go in here. And I think that should be fine. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit more. Excellent. So when it's on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select all these. And I'm going to extrude these out. Because this is going to be the part where the actual handle attaches to. So I don't think it needs to come out that much. So about there. See, I could do a cylinder and put that on there. But I think it looks better kind of like that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in another thing, so a torus. So I'm going to come over to the torus. It's definitely got, not going to need that many segments, so I'm going to put seven and bring those that down to probably about 20. And it doesn't need to be that thick, so about that thick. So I can bring this in, 
rotate it. Get into place. And then shrink it down. Bring it in a little bit there. Bring it up. And then that can come right the way back. And that can come kind of here. Excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop those on here and then I'm going to texture it using the exact same method as I did for the other, the other items and then show you what the final kind of looks like. So I've gone ahead and textured it, unwrapped the UVs, and that's looking like a really decent door. And I can go into the onto the chapel itself. Not worried too much about the back. But what I may do is I may just get rid of the back completely. No, nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. But for now, that's looking really good. So I'm going to do the same for the larger door. I won't record myself doing that because it's going to be exactly the same process as what I did for this. But I will show you the final result of the larger door once it's done. So obviously it's going to be a little bit different to this, but a similar way of doing it. So I shall do that next. <laughs> 